Hey, happy doodles, y'all. Welcome back, Web of Cards. Got a fun video for you. These are probably my favorite kind. This is a PSA DNA reveal video. I think I have just over 60 autograph slabs to show off here. These are gonna be red and blue flip. Um, these ones were out for quite a while. Uh, PSA DNA was just taking freaking forever. But uh, I'm gonna start off with my fail. It is Seth McFarlane, PETA, Family Guy. Um, I got these TTM, I got a few of them. And I think I remember they were all unique signatures from one another, so I didn't think they were auto pen, but PSA DNA did not like it, so they gave me the N4, which means no, no. But uh, that's too bad. I kind of was excited to get him slabbed up. But uh, let's get right into the success. Got two of these here. This isn't anything exciting. These are two different uh, tickets here from Nick Pavetta. This is his first MLB win ticket. Got Freddie Freeman on it. It would be a lot cooler if it was a Phillies ticket, but it is what it is. He got his first win in Atlanta. I sent these in. I actually got the tickets on eBay, sent them to Pavetta to get him to sign them. And uh, I just thought it was cool because he also sent me game-worn shoes autographed uh, at the beginning of the season. I think I gave him like 20 or 30 autographs for it, just kind of commons. But I tried it, and uh, he sent some shoes back, so I thought that was cool. Just figured I'd get some something like that to kind of go with it. I uh, got a Ryan Sandberg jumbo slab here. Oh, man, I've got too many of his autographs just because he's such an easy TTM. But uh, he's a fun one, though. And uh, let's get right into these here. I'm going to show off a whole bunch of printing plates. I think we're still recording here. Sorry, my phone went whack. Got Dirk Nowitzki. If you guys have been watching my videos, you know I love these printing plates. I absolutely love getting printing plates TTM signed and then slapping them up. Eli Manning, one of the easiest TTM signatures to get. And they are real. Another printing plate to add to the collection. Uh, Jake Arietta got him through Nishek earlier this year. Beautiful signatures on these printing plates. They really, really pop. Love them. Uh, this is J.P. Crawford. We'll see what happens with him. But I took the gamble and bought the printing plate for fairly cheap and then sent him 20 bucks to get him to sign it. Al Kaline. I think he was like a $10 TTM signature, but pops, man, so nicely off these printing plates. What is this one from here? 2017 tops. Just beautiful though. Uh, who is this here? Jorge Alfaro on a kind of a mini printing plate, but beautiful signature. Love how that pops. Uh, no big deal on these, man. These probably the the cream of the crop here that you're gonna see. But I got two of these. Just beautiful. This is on the. The reprint rookie card, but still freaking beautiful. Gem Mint 10 autographs there, both graded autographs. I don't know what the hell I'm gonna do with those. I gotta keep one, find something good to do with the other one. Good time to get him. Drew Brees, beautiful card though. Just a freaking beautiful card. Beautiful signature to go with it. Good look at that one all day. Gotta love this one in the background too, a little Peyton Manny. Speaking of, Another Peyton Manning. Kind of a hard one to see on this card, but I had to get him to sign that card. Too cool. More Eli. I do one. I wanted to get his uh, rookie card signed too, so finally got them slabbed up. Got them red flipped. The Bazooka rookie card there too. Mike Rabel. This is his rookie card. Pittsburgh Steelers. A couple more basketball. Chris Bosch. Got him TTM on his Chrome rookie. He does personalize his signatures, so if you're going to TTM him, send him a Chrome card so you can wipe that name off. Uh, another easy TTM. If you guys haven't TTM'd him yet, get on it. This might be his last year. Who knows? He signs one at a time. Just send him one card at a time. Easy money. Uh, this was also... No, this wasn't TTM. I actually purchased a couple Penny Hardway autographs for cheap and uh, got them slabbed up here. That's a USA card. This one I'll probably get rid of. I'm just not a huge college guy. So I'll probably find a way to move this one. Happy with the USA signature. I already have Manu Bulls autograph, but I did slab this one up. Might have to move this one at some point. Still cool though. Bob Cousy, 
another one that he'll personalize your the signatures TTM so you just send him a chrome card or a you know shiny card like this so you can wipe that off it's good to get Bob Cousy in the collection though anyway this is cool man Brett the Hitman Hart on a jersey card and this is even cooler in a way I'm gonna try to get the light to catch the signatures but he inscribed it Brett the Hitman Hart best there is was and ever will be uh, I needed I wish I sent him a lighter card so I could see the inscription but it was just cool that he did it for me super cool card in person kinda kinda shitty on, uh, on camera there uh, a couple Tommy Chong autographs here just because uh, the first one here he inscribed on top uh, far out man alright here we go got him to inscribe Mr. Baseball right under his signature his signatures on top with Mr. Baseball in quotes kinda cool got that slabbed up red flip this is a fun one a fun TTM one if you guys have fun doing TTM um, both moose guys both guys with the nickname moose I wish I could get uh, there's another Mike Moustakis that would be another one to add to this but uh, I've got Daryl Johnston and Mike Musina on the moose card I actually have one more of these in red flip I should have it on my next submission whenever I get that back Manny Pacquiao I have some boxing guys in my collection so this this one will be a cool boxing autograph to add to my Mike Tyson and a few others a few others that I have uh, this is another oddball here, Betty White. She's another one where you send her a shiny card like this because she will put your name on it. So it did say to Nick right above her name there. You just wipe that off with an Expo marker. Easy peasy. This is a cool TTM. This is one I haven't seen that many people get. Probably just because he doesn't have you know many cards and whatnot to TTM. But uh, his address is out there, y'all. So you'll get one of these King Kong cards somehow. Or maybe you could... Uh, custom make a Tenacious D which I would personally love to add to my collection if you guys do custom cards make me a Tenacious D card so I could TTM on that be dope uh, Tommy Lee well alright I don't know why I have that one in my collection but I do this one actually might be this one probably is my favorite one of the uh, of the batch here even over that Wayne Gretzky uh, Ken Griffey Jr. this is his first tops card pretty dope. This is actually my second one in the collection. I have another one, uh, JSA authenticated. Uh, this is my first Sammy Sosa autograph in my collection, so happy to add it. Baseball been very good to me. Uh, this is a cool TTM. I think I sent him 50 bucks. He charges 25 for his signature, but I asked for the inscriptions. He's got the Cy Young 7. He's got 11-time All-Star and 2-time World Series Champs inscription on that card. Pretty dope if you ask me. A uh, couple more Ryan Sandberg slabs. I got his rookies. You got to get the guys rookies, man. And then there's a whole bunch of oddball things out there for him. Just might as well get them signed. This is beautiful for my Giants PC. Hall, uh, Willie McCovey with the Hall of Fame 86 inscription on the 68 tops. Beautiful. Really nice card, too. Definitely off-center, but it's pretty sharp. Believe it or not, y'all, this is a one of one in terms of the population. Um, this is the only, only one with Marv. Uh, per, pardon me if I'm saying his name wrong. Stale, Marv Stale and Lupinella. This is his rookie card. Um, it's a population one on PSA DNA for red flips to have both of the signatures on this card. So, pretty cool. I always loved watching Lupinella growing up kicking dirt all over the umpires and whatnot. Pretty dope. This is a very cool dual card. This is a bunch of dual cards that I'm about to show off here. But we got Gaylord Perry, Steve Carlton, and Nolan Ryan on the 84 tops. Pretty freaking sweet. Happy to add that one. This is another easy TTM if you're willing to send these guys a few bucks. Don Sutton, Burt Blylevin, and Jerry Kuzman. Cool triple signature. Uh, another one from Nishak that I got this year with Hoskins and Nick Williams. Cool dual autograph. Easy TTM. Please, Zach, you can send him 100 cards and I'll sign them all. Guy loves signing. And uh, Dave Brigetti, you could probably get him once or twice a year. He doesn't return fast, but he will return your shit eventually. 
So that's a cool autograph. Probably not worth paying for this lab, but I do that because I like that. This is another one. Don Mattingly. Who cares about him? But I got Will Clark on this bad boy. Cool dual signature. Love getting dual signatures uh, with Will Clark on them. I have a little mini collection of those. Roger Craig. Pretty sure this is his rookie card on the 56 tops. This is uh, easy TTM. I think he charges five bucks, something like that. Uh, Felipe Alou, write this down if you guys want his autograph super easy to do during spring training if you send to the Giants spring training facility every year uh, or at least he's been doing it the last few years he'll sign a few cards for you pretty cool Whitey Herzog not really when I got these uh, cards back I was like why did I freaking slab this Herzog card I don't give a shit about this guy but whatever I did it he's a hall of famer uh, Sparky Anderson, love this, love this freaking signature. I love it. every. I have another signature of his too. It just always starts going right up off the card, like he just forgot what he was doing. But that's just the way he does it. Red Chain Dienst, um, guy just passed away, Hall of Famer. Thought that was a cool card, so I slabbed it up. I like that inscription too. Oh, okay, line. I think I already have that card. I need to move that card. Uh, these cards I just like getting slabbed up. These are like the 90, 1996 Leaf Steel, I want to say. Got Joe Carter on that one. And Mike Messina on this one. I already had a few more of those slabbed up, so I got that one slabbed up too. Um, probably shouldn't have invested in the slab on this kid, but he's a number one pick. Royce Lewis, easy TTM. Got him in the slab. This is another one where I just have a few more of these SPX cards already slabbed up from different players. So I did decide to slab up Larry Walker. Not a Hall of Famer, but still a good player nonetheless. This is one of my guys. Got a few Giants to show off here. Buster Posey on the mini. Got a little Tim Lincecum on the 2008 Tops opening day. Another Tim Lincecum here. Jersey card autograph. And the 2012 World Series MVP, Pablo Sandoval. Thank you, Red Sox, for paying this guy. And uh, that's it for my submission. I do have a few slabs to show off, just eBay pickups. I picked up a John Smoltz. Uh, God, I think this is his rookie. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I want to say this is his rookie card. His top's rookie card, anyway. So I got that to add to the collection. Got a little uh, Reggie Jackson. Cool slab off of eBay. How about that, little Goldberg? Can't go wrong with a Goldberg autograph. And this was a trade from the Slab City group I'm in. Uh, if you're not in that group, y'all get to Slab City on Facebook. It's a dope group. Um, traded, I want to say... Yo, what did I trade for this? Anyway, I forgot what I traded for this, but I uh, got a Charles Haley Niner autograph. All right. And a couple more slabs just to get slabbed up, or a couple more cards to get slabbed up. I got a Mario Lemieux. I think I Mario Lemieux for my hockey collection that I'm trying to slowly build. And another Buster Posey autograph I got off eBay. I'm going to get this slabbed up too. Hey guys, thanks for watching. Uh, stay tuned for more of these uh, PSA DNA reveal videos. Adios.